missed it, but they're in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate in this hot Sunday afternoon. We'll send it upstairs for the race call. Here's Vance Cameron. On time delivery, if you could read my mind, Le'Veon Bell, Futures, Diablo, Fernhill, Hero, Quick Glance, you got this. Top of the stretch. Approaching a start. There they go, off and pacing, Futures Diablo, if you could read my mind, and at the rail, on time delivery, stacking them up three high, then racing from fourth, as they move round the turn, Le'Veon Bell, to get away fifth, towards that inside, Fernhill Hero, back into six, is quick glance, followed by the trailer, you got this, and the quarter pulled down on a little Sunday afternoon. Brouhaha to open up plate week. Wilder to it and at it. Add it and to it on the front end. If you can read my mind, he's getting the air put to him by on-time delivery. Futures Diablo watches the battle. 28 and three the quarter. Now moving into fourth is Fern Hill Hero. Fifth on the outside, quick glance. Racing from six, you got this. And the trailer after a break. That is Le'Veon Bell. So they have moved towards the opening half mile. If you could read my mind, park to the quarter. He's the midway point leader. Second at the rail on time delivery. Futures Diablo is closed in third. Fern Hill Hero is fourth, 59, and won the half mile. Moving to the outside, fifth is quick glance you got this six and offside at the back Le'Veon Bell they're swinging up the back stretch and they're going to three quarters next if you could read my mind the leader to the outside on time delivery futures Diablos in striking distance third back into fourth is Fernhill Hero fifth on the outside is quick glance you got this six the trailer Le'Veon Bell three quarters in the books in one 29 and three with an eighth of a mile left to go if you could read my mind on time delivery not far away futures diablo at the rails third down the stretch they come on time deliveries getting up late if you could read my mind on time delivery with david dowling on the line second if you could read my mind futures diablo is third and the time for the mile in one fifty eight three All right, here's a look at the Universal Media slow-mo for you on a Sunday afternoon in Summerside. And uh, Rocky, you mentioned it just off air there, on-time delivery, first-time starter this afternoon. And boy, that was impressive for this two-year-old Colt with Jimmy Freight. Wow, impressive it was. He took on, if you could read my mind, and parked him past the quarter in 28 and 3, released him to the front. They're at the half, 59 and 1, 129 and 3 to 3 quarters. David Dowling moved him out, going to 3 quarters, and he gets up to get the job done here today. 158 and 3, first lifetime start here. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Two year old by Jimmy Freight. David Dowling in the driver's seat, if you could read my mind. Second, Futures Diablo, third, and we'll see on time delivery with David Dowling back in the Woodmere Standard Bread's Winter Circle in a moment.
on time delivery makes his way to the winner's circle, the Woodmere Standard Bread winner's circle here in Summerside, making his debut a winning one. Bay Pacing Gulling 2 by Jimmy Freight off the Badlands Hanover Dam, Troxel Hanover, owned by Windermere Farms, River Valley Management, and Clyde Balderson. Bred by River Valley Management and Windermere Farms. Trained by Earl Watts and driven to victory by David Dowling. His debut gets him a maiden record of 158 and 3. On time delivery in the first. 